All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, do I got another awesome video for use today. And we're going to do it on my favorite bodybuilder of all time, the Maryland Muscle Machine Kevin Lavroni, posing at the 1998 Mr. Olympia at a whopping 257 pounds ripped on stage. For five foot nine. that's a massive size to be. I mean, he was actually bigger than Ronnie Coleman because Ronnie's five foot 11, Kevin's five foot nine. Ronnie came into the 98 Olympia at 248 pounds ripped. And Lavroni, like I said, was 257 ripped. So with the height difference, Kevin is definitely bigger, as you can see in these pics. My God, he's actually dwarfing Ronnie Coleman a little bit, in a way. Just look at this side chest on Kevin Lavroni. Kevin always had one of the best side chest poses. I mean, he nailed it. It's definitely one of my favorite versions of the Maryland Muscle Machine Kevin Lavroni. But yet, he placed his fourth. He's even... Out doing Nasser El Sambadi. Look, he even looks bigger than Nasser here. I mean, Nasser was a little bit smaller in 98 than he was in 97, but he's even looking a little bit bigger than Nasser in this side chest pose. And then Sean Ray, Sean Ray looks a lot smaller than Nasser and Kevin. But, um, yeah, and then third place was Nasser, uh, second place was Flex, and obviously first place was Ronnie Coleman. But I tell you though, Kevin Lavroni doesn't get enough credit for this performance at the 98 Olympia. Then the 1999 Mr. Olympia comes rolling around, and um, yeah, Kevin just... I don't know, he kind of blew himself out a little bit. In 1997, 1998, he just got very big. And then what was happening was, towards the end of 98, going into 99, he started having a little bit of a distended midsection. Then uh, 2000 comes rolling around, the 2000 uh, Mr. Olympia, and he was aesthetic as fuck. He went from like 257 pounds... 255 pounds down to like 247, 246, which is a perfect weight for his height. And uh, yeah, he just nailed it in 2000 and, uh, in 2000 and placed second to Ronnie Coleman. And look at his back. Look at how thick his fucking back is. His traps are so sunk in. The lat insertions are perfect. The detail to the lats are great. He's got a really good back, Kevin, in uh, 1998. 1997 and 1998 were the two best years of his fucking career. I mean... I don't know how he never won a Mr. Olympia contest with this physique. If he was uh, competing today with this physique, he'd win a Mr. Olympia contest every single time with that paper-thin skin. I just don't understand why guys nowadays can't come in with that paper-thin skin and just super ripped, but yet with the size. The problem is guys get big, they get too big, and... The conditioning just suffers, and they're using way too many drugs nowadays. Too much insulin, IGF-1, peptides. Peptides is all the rage. Peptides gives you that puffy look like Phil Heath. Phil Heath must have used a shitload of peptides in his career in his career, but uh, I don't think they were really using peptides back then. Yeah, insulin, maybe IGF-1 and whatnot, but um, not too much insulin. These guys were using a lot of gear, uh, HGH towards the middle to the end of the 90s, but the beginning 90s, like the end of the 80s, uh, the beginning of the 90s, guys weren't really using much HGH or anything like that, and that's why the physiques just looked a lot better in my opinion. Guys nowadays are just going overboard, way too overboard. Like look at the 2021 Mr. Olympia. That was fucking terrible. That was one of the worst Mr. Olympia contests ever that I've ever seen. Even Big Ramy, who took first place, was out of shape, in my opinion. Uh, Brandon Curry placed second. He was, I don't know, he was okay. But put those guys up against uh, this version of Kevin Lavroni, even Big Ramy up against this version of uh, the Maryland Muscle Machine. And I guarantee you, the Maryland Muscle Machine would fucking eat all them alive. You see, you could kind of see Kevin's midsection sort of getting a little distended. And then by 1999, it was even worse. And then, like I said, 2000, he came in very aesthetic. Kevin's on record saying that in 2000, his physique looked the best. Yeah, he was aesthetic, but I think 1997, his physique looked the best, especially at the Finland Grand Prix. 1997 Finland Grand Prix was the best performance of Kevin Lavroni's career. If you guys have never seen the video, I've done two videos on it, and I'm going to put the link in the description because he fucking nailed it at that Finland Grand Prix. And look at his back. People have the nerve to say Kevin has a shit back. No, he doesn't. He's got a great lower back. Not too great of a Christmas tree, but great hams and glutes, a great lower back, a great upper back. The traps are nice and thick. I mean, he's got an unbelievable rear lat spread. 
And then look, even when he hits a rear latch, but he still doesn't have a bubble gut. Usually when guys turn around, they let the gut hang out, but not Kevin. Kevin always had a pretty tight midsection. And for a guy who's on insulin and shit right now, his midsection's pretty damn tight. But I just wish guys nowadays could take a page out of this fucking man's book. I would hire Kevin as my coach and say, Get, put me on all the same shit you were doing and the same diets you were doing back in the 90s, but I digress. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Mikey from Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out, guys.